All right, guys, so here's a little riddle for you. What question can you ask six times a day, get a different answer each time, and have every one of those answers be correct? What time is it, of course, which, by the way, is a question you won't have to ask once you're done with this tutorial and have your own scratch clock. So in this scratch tutorial, we're going to create an analog clock. That's one with the hands, minute hand, second hand, and our hand. Before we begin, you got to get set up, and you can do it two ways. The easiest way would be remix the project listed below that says sprites only. It's going to be a project with four sprites, a clock face, a minute hand, a second hand, and an hour hand. Alternatively, or another way you can do it, is to download the individual sprites, create a new project, and upload them. So get set up, and when you're set up, continue the tutorial, and we'll get this done. All right, guys, so here's the program we're about to create. It's simply a clock, an analog clock, old-fashioned, like Big Ben. All right, so let's make it happen. I remixed my project and I got my four sprites. So either remix the project or upload the necessary sprites. So before we get started, let's look at the sprites. First, we have the clock face and you'll notice I have a number of costumes. You can create as many costumes as you want and use whatever costume you'd like. If we go to the hour hand, <laughs> Now, while the second minute and hour hand sprites just look like lines and arrows, there's one important thing you need to understand. I had to go in and change the pivot point so that the hands don't turn from the center, they turn from the base. So if you're not sure what the pivot point is, there's a link to the video in the description and uh, a whole tutorial on that. Just going to point out the pivot point. If I click on my crosshairs, you can see that the pivot point is not the center of the sprite, but the base of the sprite. And the same is true of the minute hand and the second hand. So the first thing we're gonna do is program the face. So click on the face sprite. I know I'm there because I got the blue border around it. I'm gonna go to scripts. We're gonna start the clock on the flag click event. So go to events, flag click. The first thing we're gonna do is set the face we want. So if we go to costumes, I'm going to set the Roman numeral face, which is costume three. Go to, going to go to scripts. Under looks, I'm going to switch to costume three. Now, we want to make sure that everything is seen. So the first thing we're going to do is show the face just to make sure. And now we want it to just be there. The face doesn't do anything but show. So now let's move on to the hour hand. <laughs> So let's think about the hour hand for a minute. All right, so the hour hand travels in a circle. We know that there are 360 degrees in a circle. Now, when the hour hand is pointing to the three, right, it's at 90 degrees. So three times 30 is 90. As the hour hand travels, when it points to the six, it's 180 degrees. And six times 30 is 180. So when dealing with the hour hand, we are dealing with a 30 multiple. We have to multiply the hour times 30 to get the angle. The hour hand has a 30 multiple. So let's get that done. So the first thing we're going to do is go to operators and we're going to get our multiplier. Third block from the top. And what we're going to do is we're going to multiply 30 times the actual hour. We get the hour from sensing, the current from the drop-down hour. Okay, now, what do we want to do with this value? We want our hour hand to actually be pointing in that direction. So we're going to go to the motion blocks and get the point in direction. Now we're not going to take any of these values from the drop down. We're going to point in the direction that we just calculated. And when do we want this to happen? 
the whole time the program's running. So what does that mean? Forever loop under control of forever loop. Now what event is going to start this? That would be, of course, the flag click. So go under events, get flag click. Now we want to make sure that we see this. So we're going to under looks, use a show command just to make sure that it is showing. And then forever, we're going to point to the hour. So we're going to do something very similar for the minute hand and second hand. Now, when it comes to the minute and second hand, the same exact concept applies, except there's not 12 around, there's 60. 60 minutes an hour, 60 seconds in a minute. So when the arrow is pointing to the 15, 15 seconds or 15 minutes, it's at 90 degrees. 15 times 6 is 90. And when it's pointing to the 30, it's 180 degrees. So again, we have that 6 multiple. So just like we used the 30 for the hour hand, we need to use a 6 for the minute and second hand. So I'm going to click on minute hand. I know I'm here because I got the blue border. What's going to start this? The flag click event. Under looks, we want to make sure that we see our minute hand. We want the minute hand to be working forever under controls the whole time the program's running. We simply want the minute hand to point in a certain direction. So under motion, we're going to get to point in direction, but we're not going to point in direction 90. We got to calculate the direction. So we're going to go to operators, get the multiplier. For the minute hand, we're going to have a six multiple. So I'm going to type in six and we're going to six times the actual minute. So go to sensing and get the current minute. And that's the direction we want our minute hand to point into. We want the same exact thing to happen for the second hand, only we're not going to track the current minute. We're going to track the current second. So as a shortcut, I'm going to take this script and I'm going to move it to my seconds sprite. And now if I click on my second sprite, you will notice that the code is there. And the only thing we need to do is from the drop down, change it from minute to second. And we're done. Let's test out the program. I click the flag. And it is 1146. And just click 1147. So my clock matches my time on my computer. So as always, like what you like, subscribe if you haven't, and we'll see you next time. Time, you get it? No pun intended. Bye guys.